But one thing you realize when you travel around the world is that America is a great country. It is. It is a great country. This is a great country we live in, you guys. It really is. It really is. And you know, we're all citizens, you know, we're all citizens, and uh, I mean, some of us have green cards, some of us have green cards, it's all right. It's, and some of us are illegal, that's fine. It's all inclusive, all right? We're not building any walls here. Lou Dobbs is not in the house, don't worry about it. We're gonna keep you. <laughs> but we all have stories, you know, we all, like a lot of immigrants, everyone, immigrants came to this country, and I came to, I was six years old when I came to this country. I was six years old, and uh, when you first come to this country, you try and blend in as much as you can. So I would do whatever it took to blend in. I would play baseball. I would eat apple pie. I would eat apple pie while playing baseball. <laughs> whatever it took. And things would be going great. I'd be at the playground playing with my friends, Sam, Brett, Jesse. Life is good. Sure, my name is Maz, but they don't know where that's from. They don't know, right? Everything's cool. Until my dad would come by to pick me up. And he would show up in his Mercedes-Benz, which is a standard Persian issue car. And he would have the car filled with the entire family. For some reason, we can't go anywhere with two of us. There's got to be like 50 of us in the car. I don't know why. Anytime you see a car filled with people, it's either Middle Easterners or Mexicans. It's one of those two. It's, for even for short trips, my dad would be like, okay, everybody in the car. We're going two blocks to pick up moths. Get, get grandmother in there. Get grandma, everybody. Get the rooster. Put the rooster in the car. Put the rooster. We can't leave the rooster at home alone. Rahim the rooster, put him in the car. Put him in the car. And they would show up at the park, this car filled with people. I'd be like, oh my God, why'd they bring the whole village? And I wouldn't look, I wouldn't look. And then my dad would get out of the car and he'd be reeking of cologne, which we love to do. We don't like put on two sprays. We pour the whole bottle on ourselves, which is why Middle Easterners, we would never make good burglars. We'd not be good burglars because the homeowner would smell us in the middle of the night. They'd be like, is that Armani? I smell Armani. They're like, I just came to rob one rug. One rug. I put on Armani in case, you never know. How are you? You good? It's great. Good to see you. I did not know you lived here. How are you? Yes. Can I take the rug, please? I just want the rug. We'd never be good burglars, because we pour that stuff on. So my dad would get out of the car, I'd be smelling for 50 yards out, I'd be like, oh my God, why do you use the whole bottle? Still avoiding him, and then he would call for me with his thick Persian accent. He would call for me, Maziar! Time to go home! Let's go home! And I'd be like, oh my God, I don't know who that is, I think he's trying to kidnap me. That's Al-Qaeda in the car. <laughs> and my father would be like, son, you should be per out. You should be per out, son. We are Persian, son. You should be per out. We had an empire. We had an empire. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, we had an empire. Right now, it's being remodeled. Right now, it's more like a duplex. It's a duplex, <laughs> but one day, empire. I hope you watch my clips and enjoy it. And if you like the clips that you see here, then please tell your friends. And if you don't like the clips, then please keep it to yourself. Thank you.